Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, which I have prospected from across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space, capital M period, capital S period. Rap Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. I encourage you to watch my videos on geology and rock and mineral prospecting and get out there into the field yourself and prospect for those beautiful rocks and minerals. You can support my channel on Patreon. On Patreon, simply type in my name, Frank Riser, M period, S period, and I appreciate your financial support. Your contributions provide me the ability to buy more materials to bring you fascinating science demonstrations. Today's demonstration is, on chem is in chemistry. We will be looking at the reaction of luminol with hydrogen peroxide. Let's get to the demonstration. I have a beaker here uh, filled with 500 milliliters of deionized water. I'm going to add to the beaker some sodium hydroxide, 5 grams, 20 grams of, so of sodium bicarbonate, 20 grams of sodium bicarbonate, point four grams luminol, and 0.5 grams copper sulfate. And we'll let that stir. As that's stirring, I'm going to make up my hydrogen peroxide solution. I take my container of 30% hydrogen peroxide And I add 5 milliliters of 30% hydrogen peroxide and 500 milliliters of deionized water. Now we'll let that stir. Also, in the luminol reactant beaker, I'll add ammonia, which I forgot to do. Two milliliters of ammonia.
Now both reactants are ready. I'll turn the stirring off. And bring your attention back to the hot plate. Here's a beaker. I'm going to pour some luminol solution into the beaker. Now I'm going to turn off the light. I'm going to add the hydrogen peroxide solution. Now watch what happens. And it glows. It glowed in the dark. Did you see that? Let's do that again. I'll pour in my luminol solution. Turn off the light and watch again. Now I'm pouring in the hydrogen peroxide solution. And not only that, but do you notice the color change? It turned to a dark greenish brown color. Now, my question is this. What reaction happened between the hydrogen peroxide and the luminol? What did the hydrogen peroxide do to the luminol to make it light up in the dark? I'll let you leave your comments in the comment section about what happened. So I look forward to reading your answers in the comments section. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals, always reminding you, in order to find those beautiful rocks and minerals, you only have to do one thing, and that is to keep looking down.